we are certainly having more one-off events occurring. Um, yeah, we've had 40 degree days in October, which until a couple of years ago, something like that had never happened. We'd never had temperatures that high that early in the year. And likewise, we're probably getting more um, large thunderstorm activity in over the summer period. And again, it's probably something we'll only know in a hundred years time, whether these are just uh, a cyclical thing of the moment or whether that is going to be the, the way of the future. But bottom line is that's what we're being dealt with and that's what we need to learn to live with for the now. There's not much you can do to prepare for a 40 degree day. It's, we're dry land farmers, so we can't just turn the water on 48 hours in advance to try and increase the moisture. We just have to learn to live with it. And I suppose the main way I've changed my farming practices to learn to live with it is reducing my exposure to those crops that are most likely to be harmed by it. And it's those uh, pulse crops that are going to be harvested for grain as removing them as much as possible from my cropping rotation has been the main thing I've done. Um, I suppose another factor is I try to use a, a number of different varieties of cereals to have a spread of flowering time so that hopefully you don't lose all your crops if you get a severe frost on one morning. But short of um, manipulating flowering windows and reducing the the high risk of damaged crops, there's not really a lot you can do to get ready for the adverse weather in the springtime.